name's Rose, and today I'll be showing you how to do fish jar plat. I'm using my younger sister here as a model to show you the example I'm going to show you today. So I brushed her hair, I'm set to pick her head up. I brushed her head back like that, so it's like all at the front back. But you can part it in half, whatever you like, this plait will always look good. It's my favourite sort of plait, because you can dress it down and you can dress it up. It doesn't really matter, it always will look lovely. So, first step of this is simple. Half her hair like that. But don't let go of one, just let go of the one just to show you. You don't really have to let go. And you grab a section from the left, or you can start on the right, but I'm showing you the left. And you place it into the right. And you have to make sure at all times it's tight. It doesn't hurt the person you're doing the hair on. You do the same, but this time from the right, from the furthest away corner to where you added and you're going to add that tightly in and you're going to repeat this step again but from opposite sides every time never take it twice from the same section and you're adding that in tightly and you're going to, to the right now and you're adding that in tightly so starting from the left here I've grabbed a piece of hair I'm moving it over to the section here see this bit here that's the hair I've added and I'm moving it to this section here and I'm pulling it tight. Now from this section here as you can see I'm grabbing a bit from the end, I'm adding it to the right, I'm pulling it as tight as I can. Then from this bit here I'm adding that here and then adding that into there. Again but always as I've said already, always on the opposite otherwise it won't turn out right. So can you see? I did a bit here, add a bit more because I didn't add enough, I want to be even. Section from here, just a small one, not too small though. From here, into the right section and pull. From the right, I add a bit from the other side of where I just added. I added the bit here, not sure if you added a bit here, so I'm going to add it from here, otherwise it'll just be picking the hair back in. So you see, I'm pulling, and then, section here, there. Then, this is the last time I'm going to show you, section from here, into here. And as you can see, put your head back please, you can create the fishtail look, it's not like an ordinary flat. Hi, I finished the look now, I'm just going to add some accessories show what it would look like with accessories and what I've actually done and what the final look looks like. So I've added just a plain hairband in it, but if you wanted to make it more formal and more smart, you can have like a pearl headband. We've even got a pearl clip that I could add like there, but we're going for a more casual look. I've even got a diamond clip that I can add to this by just searching it like that. But like I said, it's more formal. But I will show you a close-up of the final product. Here is the final look. It is a bit messy at the top because I have realistically done it on a 11 year old. So it has been in quarantine for a couple of weeks, even more. And she can't really keep still, she's a bit bored. But I hope you're all at home. I hope you're all staying safe, stay positive. Thank you for watching my tutorial. Bye. Oh.